What's going on champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here and yes I know right when you saw the thumbnail you probably thought is Fire Monkey losing his mind? He has like this random title and this random thumbnail. Well, it's actually not that random. Firstly, I'm having a good day, right? I wanted to do a little bit of some memes or whatnot with the thumbnail and title of today's video But everything you saw there is actually going to be discussed in today's YouTube video Because we're gonna be talking about two video teasers for the fracture live event that are very cryptic I would say but I also just want to you know have a little bit of fun here because as you guys know I try tried not to clickbait on this channel, so I decided to let's just have some fun, right? Let's just meme around for a bit today, you know, try, you know, just having a little bit of fun, even if it doesn't help me out in the algorithm or anything like that. So to start us off, let's go ahead and play both of those video teasers on screen right now for you to enjoy, and then let's start theorizing about them. Now, obviously, when it comes to those teasers, you know, it's always just like a little gimmick, like something you would see over on the official Fortnite TikTok page, but it always seems to end the exact same way. With the characters that, you know, had their whole entire mini adventure going on in the island or whatever, looking up into the sky, suspensefully, as something is happening off in the distance that, of course, us as the viewer can't really see. Now, what I think's going on here is that, you know, it might be related to the actual, you know, Herald Sanctuary because of the fact of where the characters are looking. Now, I haven't been able to fact check this on the second location in the second video, but in the first location, which was over at the Chonker Speedway, they were looking towards the area where all the chrome's coming from, right? They were looking over towards Harold's Sanctuary, where all the chrome has started branching out to the middle of the island from, so it makes me wonder, you know, if that's one of the areas, and if they're specifically looking over there, then most likely what's going on here is, you know, the other characters are looking in that same area at the very end of their teaser as well, and I highly suspect this is because whatever happens during the live event is going to happen and start taking place from the Herald Sanctuary, just because that's kind of, you know, where we've had everything get built up from this entire season. I mean, if you think about it, we have two main points of interest for the season that are really important to think about. We have the Herald Sanctuary, where of course the Herald boss is, and then we have the Reality Tree, because the Reality Tree just kind of, you know, been a, a big part of Fortnite's lore the past two seasons, so I highly expect that what's going to happen during this live event is we might start somewhere in between the two locations, and then the live event starts off with the Herald actually causing you know, an outbreak of maybe like chrome wolves or something that are trying to attack us as we, you know, get closer to time and wait for the live event to officially start. Of course, that's just the theory though, and I do know that there's going to be a lot of crazy stuff happening during the live event, so I'm pretty excited for it. But it's very interesting to see Epic Games do these very kind of like suspicious kind of vague teasers back to back to back, because as we talked about in yesterday's video, when it came to that one teaser that was kind of just like, hey, you know, we got man cake just kind of in the space void, it was just like, we don't really know what's going on here. It just seems like there's some weird stuff happening with space, there's some weird stuff happening on the island, what's going on, you know, what is really being built up here, and what do these mean? Because typically for event teasers in the past, they usually have shown something that was more significant to the live event itself, whereas this time around, it seems more significant to the players and the characters on the island, and not so much the event, right? The most event-related stuff is obviously, like, the dialogue and little text teasers we've gotten, and of course, you know, the characters looking over at specific areas areas on the island, but when it comes to the event itself, it's just kind of like a, huh, this is very vague, right? Their teasers are hyping us up, of course, you know, they're making me excited for the event, but at the same time, they're not really telling us outright anything. 
But of course, maybe you guys are able to craft a big theory going on of what is happening with these teasers, what they're trying to signify, and what this could mean for the live event. So for today's question come of the day, I've got to ask you, right? I've got to ask, what do you think's going on here? What do you think these could be hyping up and teasing? Or is it just, you know, a one-off thing like they've done with their tick -tick before, where it's not really related to the live event at all? They just want to hype it up a little bit more. You want to, they want to get their player base excited for stuff that might happen, even if they're not directly giving anything away. Now, personally, I feel that that's kind of, you know, less likely because sure you know they do a lot of one-off things that aren't related to any Fortnite lore or anything like that over on their TikTok all the time but every single time they've posted one of these videos they've only done one per day and they've always used hashtag Fortnite Fracture which means it's highly likely that whatever's going on here right is going to be a part of this live event and of course you know I'm just auto running without using my hands or anything so that's why my hands are up here but I really am excited right I'm really excited to see what Epic Games is going to be able to pull off and I think that it could be a very interesting journey for all of us as we continue to get close closer and closer to the live event and we continue to see different teasers coming out from people like Donald Mustard, the official Fortnite Games Twitter account, and leakers of course like me and everyone else. So I hope you guys are excited, I know I'm prepared for it, and of course as always I'll be having videos getting uploaded on both channels, one with my reaction to the live event and then one that's just you know the raw live event for anyone out there who just wants to watch it without seeing anything else, or maybe I'll switch it up right, maybe I'll put the reaction on this channel or something like that, we'll really just have to wait and see, and with that said I'll see you champs and champets tomorrow with another YouTube video. Hope you are vibing with all the memes and everything else going on in this channel because let's face it memes over clickbait I don't know. I just I, I'm having fun today. Today's been a good day for me So I'll see you champs and champets tomorrow with another video. Peace out